Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode from the Multi-Tools and Blades channel. Today's episode we're going to have a look at a little multi-tool here called the Flip Grip. There's not too much information about this tool online, but I can tell you though is that it's very well built. And the first thing you notice when you take it out is how heavy it is. You can see here just from the player head how thick that piece of steel is. It's a nice big solid chunk of steel. As you can clearly see here, we have some US patent numbers, uh, stainless and, and obviously the flip grip trademark. But what we don't have is any country of manufacture. It doesn't say made in USA. It's more than likely manufactured overseas and then assembled in USA. So to use the pliers, we have to disengage the latch by moving it down like that. Then the spring inside the plier head opens up and then we can start using the pliers which other one that we want to use. So you can see here that it is spring loaded on the inside. I do believe this is the only multi-tool that I have that has two separate pliers built into the one. Just racking my brain to think if there's any other models that are like this. I know the Gerber have got a few that have removable plier heads and you can change them around but nothing like quite like this. So the needle nose pliers are probably the most versatile. In addition to the pliers we've also got three different little cap crimpers sizes inside. So there's one, two, and a little big one there. The overall construction is really good too. Sheet metal is quite thick, has rivet construction. I don't think there's much need for maintenance here. I can't really see where anything could go really wrong with it. And you can see here that the both handles have a dual function. So this has got a tiny little toolbox here. It's full of quarter inch bits. Each of these bits are going to the end and they're fed in and held in place with a little magnet, nice and convenient. The little toolbox here can hold four normal bits, or if you prefer the longer bits, you can put two of them in there. On the other handle, we have all the traditional tools that you'd find on a multi-tool. So first up, we have the file, large blade screwdriver, ruler, and serrated blade. You know what, I think I might just lock these pliers in place first. So with a multi-tool it's quite common and expected for a tool to have multiple purposes such as a file and a metal saw combined. I think this one just stretches that theory a little bit too far. I mean the file is not very aggressive at all. The ruler doesn't start from the end. The serrated blade's not that sharp. It certainly wouldn't be the first thing that I'd want to just reach for to fix a problem. Yeah, you can really tell this isn't an, hasn't been used at all. This is an unused tool, and you can just see that everything's blunt. File's blunt, serrated blade's blunt. I hate to see what it's like after a year. Now, if we go back to talking about that locking mechanism there, see this little lump here? This tool, you push down on that, and releases the lock. It folds back in. Now, if you've seen that before, that's exactly what it's like on the Shred Tough tool. Next we have the flat blade and the wood saw. Surprisingly, the flat blade is quite sharp. However, that wood saw probably say that somebody could have done a better job there. I could run my finger across it quite aggressively and nothing. I'm kind of thinking that maybe this is forgotten to be sharpened. Um, I've seen that with Leatherman before multiple times where you know, tools would go out unsharpened. Um, hopefully, maybe, I don't know. Alright, so lastly we have these two little tools here. Obviously we've got the bottle opener and this kind of funky little spanner system. Don't know if I'd like that, but something different. And what this spike? I don't know what that spike is exactly. I mean... Yeah, it's just weird. It's, it's not a reamer, obviously. It's not sharp on the sides. It's just it's no sewing needle hole. It's just, let's make holes in things. Kind of getting this vibe that all these tools here were like an afterthought and they just sort of rushed them to put them in. The only thing this thing really has going for it is these pliers, these double flip side pliers. So if you need to go backwards and forwards between, between two different types of plier heads, then yeah, maybe this is the tool for you. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. 
please leave a comment and I'm happy to answer any questions you have. And uh, catch you all next time.